Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Coming at you with a case of 2023 Topps Finest Baseball. Eight box, pick your team, number eight. Did a lot of these over the weekend. Big thanks to everybody for getting in on it. So here is the final printout right here, hot off the presses. James with that last spot mojo grabbing the White Sox. No fillers on this as well. So we knocked this out straight up. We got another case available almost in single digits. I feel like we can get that done straight up. Let's do it. So by all accounts, people are telling me that 2023 Finest Baseball is really good. Rex was telling me that there are what they're calling golden treasure boxes, something like that, where every single card is out of 50 and all autos are out of 10. Have we seen any of those yet in our group breaks? Wait, I th Rex says, I think Chad said he did the math and it's somewhere in the one box in every 100 cases. Wow. So I wonder if that means the out of 50s in general are, uh, are difficult to hit. Because most of them are in, in all these boxes. Maybe. I wonder if, if, uh, <laughs> I wonder if, if, uh, if they screwed up and they accidentally put that, put all the out of 50s inside a single box. They're like, you know what? We'll, uh, we'll pivot. We'll call it a golden treasure chest box. Manufacturing errors can happen. You gotta make, make lemonade out of, out of lemons. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's uh, it's officially All Star Week, right? So that means a lot of fun, uh, a lot of, a lot of fun about to happen. Here is a Kanan Smith uh, in Jigba, forty out of ninety-nine. That'll be for the Pirates. That's going to go to Brian. Ah, Gilo watching some summer league, saying Wemby heating up. I saw him on Friday. Was not. It looked like the heat got to him. There's Byron Buxton to 300. But good to hear. So Josh Young, refractor. He might get some uh, Tristan with the Texans. Texans? Texas Rangers. He might get some uh, some rookie of the year, AL Rookie of the Year nods. I think sort of the key guys we're looking for here is Adley Rushman, Corbin Carroll, Jordan Walker, Volpe. There's Joey Votto to 250, Cincinnati Reds. Shane with the Reds. All cards ship, right? Yeah, usually it does. All cards ship. And there's a Josh Young autograph for Tristan and the Rangers. Nice. There it is. Allison Corpuz is your U.S. Women's Open final winner. She's from Hawaii. Congrats. USA. USA. Freddie Freeman to 250. He might get some NL MVP 
votes. Pretty sure she's from Hawaii. Does she go to... Is she at USC for college? Does she do college golf there, maybe? What's up, Sean? Sean's wondering if anyone's going to the National this year. Yep, Allison Corpus from, uh, from Honolulu. Went to the same high school that produced Michelle Wee and Barack Obama. Nice. Yeah, she was at USC. So she's a pro now. So she was at USC from 2016 to 2021. Very nice. Her best finish in a major was T4 at the Chevron, which is not maybe not really a major. Um, and uh, and won the U.S. Open this year. Congrats. Signed that scorecard. Nice. Oh, right, 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 Gila. Right, 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 right. <laughs> Forgot about that. That was my mistake, Gila. I, just, I was just brainwashed by the, the woke liberal media, right? What, what, what am I supposed to do? Southern California. It's crazy out here. Oh, it's a private school? Your cousin went to the fancy high school? Or is that a rival high school? It was known as Oahu College until 1934, according to Wikipedia. There's Alec Burleson, rookie auto for... His Nationals? Cardinals, sorry. That's for Kenneth and the Cardinals. Oh, HPU is a college, says John. And no one's going to the National, huh? There's a Masataka Yoshida to 199. You may get some AL, MV, or AL Rookie of the Year consideration. John was asking earlier if he's going to the National. Gilo might go to the National. Gilo, are you still planning on it? He, but he might take the train. He will not be flying to the National if he goes. Oh, and another autograph, Dale Murphy. Finest Moments Auto. That's for Jeremy and the ATL. Yeah. When a 27-year-old Murphy abused pitchers by leading the NL with his 100, 121 RBIs, 933 OPS in 1983. He became the youngest player to win back-to-back -back MVP awards. It's pretty good. And apparently, from the stories I've read, apparently one of the like nicest dudes in baseball, just in general, just a really nice person. There's a Garrett Cole to 300. Adley Rushman for Jacob and the Orioles. It's sort of Adley Rushman's rookie card there. There's a Jordan Walker and a Josh Young. Jordan Walker is going to Kenneth and the Cardinals. And a Seiya Suzuki. 111 out of 125 for the Cubbies. And that'll go to Darren. Darren saying, Joe, did you see the other day where the Cubs won their very first franchise game in Yankee Stadium history? 
end up winning the series two to three. Yeah, we're gonna now that the uh, now that there's more. Uh, I mean, it's like basketball, right? Eastern Conference, Western Conference, and the different leagues are just going to be playing each other so much. Jordan Groshans from Miami. That'll be for Daniel. I guess we'll get a lot of that. Teams winning their first series or games in that stadium for the first time in however long. Wait, the Cubs never, even with all the interleague stuff, the Cubs never played on the road in the Yankees? Dale Murphy's not in the Hall of Fame. John saying the only two-time MVP's not in the Hall of Fame. Dale Murphy, Gonzalez. Wait, which Gonzalez? And Roger Maris. Oh, they have played. They just never won. Oh, I see. Okay. Bonds Rodriguez. Bonds Rodriguez? Oh, Juan Gonzalez, I see. Juan Gonzalez won two MVPs? Juan Gon? Great mustache. I've never heard the Atlanta Crackers baseball team, the minor league team. Do the Dodgers have a draft pick in this this year's draft? Paul Skeens is your number one pick, by the way. Just, can I just get a draft tracker? I don't need. There you go. A minor league team and a Negro league team. No, never heard of. Them. So are my Dodgers? Dodgers have the thirty sixth pick. It's like some sort of compensatory pick or something like that. So I think, is it Bowman Draft that has the number? Someone remind me. Bowman Draft has number one overall pick, right? Which means Paul Skeens is. And then Bowman Baseball will have the number two overall pick, which would be Dylan Cruz, Nationals. Paul Skeens went to the uh, Pirates. Another Jordan Walker. And Pudge, Yvonne Rodriguez, his finest moment. August 14th, 1999. This is for Tristan and the Rangers. There you go. With a swipe of second base in August 14th, 1999, Rodriguez became the first catcher ever to secure a 2020 season. Completing the feat with a month and a half to spare, he finished with 35 blasts and 25 thefts to claim the American League MVP award. No other backs would do that until JT Real Muto. That's pretty cool. Kind of cooler knowing that that hasn't happened until JT Real Muto. All right, we got a Corbin Carroll, Daniel Smith. He's playing well. Brandon Crawford to 150 for the Giants. That's for Guy. And Volpe, who's starting to heat it up again. That's for the Yankees. That's for Chris Butler. Rex has been reading that Rube Bellinger going to the Yankees to replace Judge. And Stroman to the Do I would love Stroman to the Dodgers. I mean, I can't believe how well they've been playing patchworking a starting rotation together, which is kind of wild. All the injuries they've had and just some guys just being not effective. There's Lenin Sosa for the White Sox. James, last ball mojo. Jason said he doesn't think the Yankees would give anyone up for him. I don't think anyone's significant. Because... Ballinger's on a one-year deal. 
And so that'd be a two month rental. Well, you're not giving up anyone significant for that. And for someone who may not even get regular starts once Aaron Judge is back. 68 out of 99, Jonathan Aranda. But as a lefty hitter, Bellinger could be pretty valuable in Yankee Stadium. All right, next box. But yeah, I mean, if I'm the Cubs, who, you know, we know where they are right now in the standings. I mean, Cubs are 42 and 47, seven games back. You know, five and five in their last 10. You know, like, I guess wild card might be their best opportunity. And even the wild card race, they're six and a half back of the wild card race. So, yeah, why not just move Bellinger for a bucket of baseballs? Or just get like, just a, a developmental project or a prospect from, you know, get a prospect from them or something like that. Maybe include some other players for a bigger deal. You know, and then, um, and then you get something for Bellinger. And then yeah, you call up P. Crow Armstrong. Yeah, why not? Give, give those guys Major League Baseball experience. As for Strowman, I think, what's his contract situation? What's up, Tradiac? Uh, no idea if that Soccer Chronicles goes up on the, on the site. When does that come out? Or is that already out? We have Finest Soccer on the site and Immaculate Soccer, though. Um, it came out Friday. I think we have some on the personal break side. But yeah, if it's not up by now, I don't think we're planning on putting Chronicles on the uh, group break side just yet. I think Strowman has... Is it a player option or is it a team option? Suzuki's on a great contract. Yeah, I don't think he's going anywhere. When he's healthy, I think he's still pretty good. Um, a pretty solid player. Strowman can opt, oh, he can opt out after the 2023 season. That makes that kind of tricky. If, if a team somehow can get assurances that he won't opt out, then I think teams might give up more from him. But if they don't get a clear indication of that, then again, he's also a half month rental or half a season rental or two month rental, right? August, September. Here's Vlad Guerrero Jr. Can't believe that Blue Jays team got combined no hit by the Tigers. Here's Iga Rosario for the Padres. That's going to be for Ryan and the Friars. That is 22 out of 99. Yeah, we did another box of that Immaculate Soccer earlier today, John. Some really nice stuff out of there. A nice Luka Modric book, signature moves, autograph. With Matthew Libertor to 300 and a Freddie Freeman, Freeman rivalries die cut. That looked like that might be numbered, but it's not. I thought the other one didn't have a number. That looks like it's gold in the background. But anyway, Dodgers going to Brandon. Libertor going to Kenneth and the Cardinals. Ronald Acuna Jr. might be your NL MVP. Corbin Carroll might be your NL Rookie of the Year. And there's Oswald Peraza, Rookie Auto for the Yankees. That'll be for Chris, Chris Butler. 
Rex saying it's frustrating that the Cubs won't extend Stroman. They need pitching, obviously. Stroman's doing green. They did not. I mean, that's what. I mean, they should. You're right, Rex. <laughs> but that's what poor, poor ownership does. They don't lock in those guys. I mean, and you're saying that. I mean, they all say this, but you know, Stroman says he likes playing in Chicago. He wants to stay in Chicago. So why not? Why not lock him up for the next seven years, next six years? It doesn't seem to make sense. Could be an anchor for that rotation. But yeah, the, that option is a little weird. So he might not be able to get too much for Stroman unless it's a team that's just desperate to get that, that starting pitching. If he goes to the Dodgers, I would love to see him on the Dodgers. But what, would the, what would I give up? Again, if I got assurances that he would pick up that option or maybe even sign an extension, he'd give up a little bit more. Might be worth like a couple, you know, prospecty pitchers. Maybe a Michael Grove, a Ryan Pepio, both maybe. Something like that. Luis Castillo, 39 out of 150. That's for Seattle. That's going to go to Phil and the Mariners. And there's a Spencer Steer, 36 out of 100. Uh, the Lava Parallel, he's been having a nice season too. There's Seiya Suzuki to 250. Rex is saying, I get what you're saying when a player wants to this. But you see Strowman's passion seems legit. He wants to stay. He's also a, a, a businessman, so if the if the Cubs are like lowballing him or whatever, there's Bo Naylor to 25 for Cleveland, David Thorpe. Well, there's your answer, Gilo. That's what Tanaka is doing. Grizzly is saying he plays for Rakuten. He's back in Japan. 12 out of 75, Zach Wheeler. And Bo Naylor autograph. Nice. So Zach Wheeler is going to go to the fight in Phil's. That's going to be for Kenneth. And the Bo Naylor rookie autograph, rookie refractor auto going to David. Cleveland, this is for you. Pretty solid prospect for the Guardians. It's Corbin Carroll. Paul Goldschmidt. Two out of ninety nine. Three boxes left. We're almost there. Chris did what Friday night? Cleveland, this is for you. It's a classic.
You know, Rex, I'll ask you this question then. Right? If, if Strowman loves the city and loves the team so much, why doesn't he just opt in to his contract now? Because he can opt out after the 2023 season. Why not just say, I'm picking up my player option right now in 2024 for 2024? I think uh, wax party spots are transferable, John Jackson, according to the description. But I pre I'm sure I appreciate your kindness. I'm sure Rex appreciates that too. There's Hunter Green, 250. Are the Reds going to be buyers at the deadline? They could use some front end pitching. I don't, although I don't think they're going to get it from the Cubs, though. And Steve Garvey, old Dodger, to 150. Nice. It's going to go to Brandon. It's got my Dodgers. There's an Otani to 300. Does Otani get traded? There is a columnist. Actually, people might know him. He's on national shows. He's on uh, Around the Horn. LA Times uh, columnist, sports columnist, Bill Plaschke, who you see on Around the Horn if you watch that show, will often uh, be on that show. Wrote a column the other day saying the Angels should trade. Just bite the bullet, trade Otani, rebuild. Pascatino to 199 for the Royals. That'll be for Gabe and his Royals. And there's Michael Massey, rookie auto for Gabe's Royals. There you go, Gabe. Cheers. No tears. The pass did they really call him the Pasquash? What about this guy, Michael Massey? What do they call him? There's Jordan Alvarez to 250. There's Natalie Rushman for the O's. That's going to be for. It's going to be for Jacob. I thought I passed. Oh no, that was Carlos Correa, not Corbin Carroll. Rushman for the Orioles. Jacob. Jordan Alvarez for the Astros. That'll be for James. Two boxes to go. They just call Michael Massey. Massey? Does he have a lot of mass? Wow, when Pasquatch gets on base, a Sasquatch appears in the outfield seat. Does that really happen? Is there someone a Sasquatch? Costume, get up. Do we have a home run derby odds or anything like that out yet? Who wins the home run derby, ladies and gentlemen? According to this offshore, Pete Alonzo is the favorite at plus 275. That's about three to one. Vlad Guerrero Jr. at plus 450, along with Luis Robert. Julio Rodriguez at plus 475. Adales Garcia at plus 650. Um, Mookie Betts at about seven and a half to one, plus 750. 
Randy Arozarena, 10 to 1, and Adley Rushman, 16 to 1, plus 1,600. Grizzlebees has Vlad Guerrero Jr. winning this one. I don't think Tatis is even in the home run derby, is he? Ellie Dela Cruz was asked and he declined. I feel like a lot of players do decline. I think people are scared. I think hitters are scared that it'll, the home run derby will mess up their swings, which has been debunked, I want to say. Is Oswaldo or Oswald Peraza to 150 and Mark Vientos for the Mets? Joe Ivers with his Mets on the board with the rookie autograph. Pete Alonso probably going to win, thinks Chilo. He has won before. I think he has the uh, it's kind of a long like event, so you kind of need. I think uh, the stamina is really one of the hardest things. Hitting the home runs, I don't think, is the hard part for these players. The stamina is. Here's Lenyon Souza to 175. I might put a little lunch money on Mookie Betts, though. He's been, his home run production has gone up. One of the things they asked him to do in the offseason was goes to go to driveline. And the driveline said to him, listen, you're, if you analyze all of your stuff, there's Dermis Garcia to 50 for the A's. That'll be for Lewis Reeves. And they said, hey, I think one of the things we want you to, would like to see you do is pack on a little more mass. And he has. I think they also said, I think the team maybe told him, hey, be a little more aggressive. Try for some home runs. And he has. He's been more aggressive, and I think Riley Green is called up or has been called up or back from injury or something, but there he is, 250 for the Tigers. That'll be for Steven. All right, final box. Yeah, if, I mean, what what book are they using? I think CBS is official line provider. Yeah, with these prop bets, obviously, shop around. You might find some deals deals elsewhere. Jan running the simulations, running the model says. The NL wins the All-Star game. They are at minus 102. And the AL is minus 108. So pretty, pretty even according to this book. Oh, boy. There are, uh, this offshore has first manager fired. Anyone have any ideas? First manager fired. Buck Showalter for the Mets, 3-1. to one. Cardinals is Oliver Marmol to 4-1. to one. Dave Martinez of the Nationals, 5 to 1. Bud Black, Rocky, 6 to 1. David Ross for the Cubs, 8 to 1. Alec Cora, Red Sox, 9 to 1. Phil Nevin, Angels, 10 to 1. Mark Cotte, A's, 12 to 1. Bob Melvin for the Padres, 12 to 1. Matt Quattraro for the Royal, 25 to 1. Pedro Griffel for the White Sox, 28 to 1. And Scott Service for the Mariners, 50 to 1. Yeah, I don't think Scott. I don't think the Mariners, White Sox, Royals, Padres, they're not going to... Padres shouldn't panic and fire the manager. Royals are rebuilding. White Sox just hired that guy, I want to say, so that's probably not going to happen this year. That's why they're long shots. Yeah, Scott's service for the Mariners probably not as well. Kotze, I mean, you can't get fired from the A's, not when the, when the ownership's not fielding a good team. Phil Nevin might get fired. Cora, no, they, they like him. They're going to stick with him. I don't think I don't see David Ross getting fired. Bud Black, maybe. Nationals are rebuilding. Dave Martinez is not going to get fired. I guess the fit, Buck Walter maybe. All 
There's Ronald Acuna Jr. It's 250. Yeah, a lot of the offshores have fun manager firing. Who's going to get sacked first? Props. Premier League 2. And that's pretty common. Tristan Casas. Tristan Houses. Rookie auto for Ed P. And the Red Sox. Oh, no. Local news. Local news is terrible. I'm going to switch this after this break. Christopher Morell. Rookies insert on-card autograph. 14 out of 99. That's for Darren and the Cubs. There you go, Darren. And then we got Otani, Aqua Shimmer to 175. And Logan Webb Gold, 31 out of 50 for the Giants. That'll be for Guy. Odd Shark says David Bell at plus 700, even though they're first in the NL. It's interesting. There's Jacob DeGrom to 300. And that, my friends, is that. I mean, they're just taking people's money at that point, Jay. All right. Quick little recap. Thanks, everyone, for watching, for breaking with us. We got another case of this in the store. We got a lot of rookie autos, a lot of color, a lot of nice parallels, a lot of nice insert autos, some old school guys, new school guys, just some Josh Youngs, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> A lot of fun stuff. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you in the next video for, uh, for maybe another finest baseball break. Bye-bye.